Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1993. Yeah, <clears throat> for whatever reason, um, Utah Saints provide the music for this. So, I mean, I guess it was just like, hey, Zenon did it. Why can't we do it? Let's get a little bit of style over substance in there. Now, this is supposedly, quotation fingers, I haven't played it. So I've dipped around with it, but I'll explain why I had to do that to get into a race just now. Um, Supposedly, one of the better racers on the Amiga. I'm confused. Burning Rubber in 1993, wasn't that also the title of the game on the GX4000? It was basically Way the Moms, but obviously used hardware sprites, whatever the GX4000 did. That was also Ocean, wasn't it? I want to say, yeah? Was that Burning? You know, with no G, because bad spelling is cool. Don't know. Supposedly, I do like the fact that it's got a little bit of polish on the front end. Supposedly, you race earn money and you can upgrade your car and there's a kind of endurance thing to it don't know because i've never played it and to be fair i never heard of it until i saw a video on you know best racing games on the amiga this is what i mean about style over substance that doesn't need to be in there i'm going to turn it off so no one has a seizure um but it was just so look what we could do there's also uh, an ag8 version of this <clears throat> but i couldn't get that to run so control difficulty start we'll have a look at difficulty hard we'll go with easy because i have to talk and play it at the same time and it makes the cardinal sin of making you accelerate by pressing forward so your controls are already compromised that's not just on the Amiga that's on the Mega Drive and everything when you have to steer while you're pressing up it compromises your ability to control the car properly especially sinful on a machine which could have two independent fire buttons but for some reason no one used that facility uh, basically I would say it was called being a lazy bastard right so we can play it with joystick, that's what I'll be doing it with, or mouse and keyboard. We can have, yeah, that's going to happen, isn't it? Um, no, it's just the same joystick. They just grayed it out and pretended it was a gear knob. <laughs> right, we're going to go with continue. So all I have to worry about is accelerating. Do the buttons do anything in the game? Don't know. Right, uh, if anyone's played this back in the day, I'd love to know what you think. I mean, obviously, I'm just having a quick old crack of the whip at it, but yeah. Um, okay, so we have real cars. I do like that. Fiesta RS 1800. Uh, boys. Uh, and then we have a Sunny GTR. I can't simply because it's called a Sunny. Then we, oh yes, Peugeot GTI. What size engine is this? Oh, they were the stuff of legends. Right, so we'll have a quick look at what else there is in there. Um, Renault, they were pretty badass as well. And then we got uh, an Astro GSI. They were just nicked, is what they were. Just stolen left, right, and centre. Golf GTI, it doesn't really look like a Golf GTI. It looks like a Golf GTI that was made out of wax and that's too close to the radio. Look at the ass on that thing. Uh, and so, yeah, let's go with the Peugeot 205. Boss! Apologies for background noise, I do live on the biggest road in the West Country. Uh, and also the sound goes from being loud on the music, look at her face, that's not going to give you bad dreams, is it? Uh, to being incredibly quiet in the game and having no actual um, music. Right, so we got $4,000 and for some reason your mouse has a momentum thing going on. Look, moving, stop moving, gliding. Don't understand. Right, what's that? Nitrous one. That's what our far button would do then, isn't it? Uh, I've got... Okay, nitrous two. Cha ching! I don't know what any of this shit does. I don't know if I can afford it. Right, I can't afford that because it's greyed out. Uh, wheel, can't afford that. Um, I've just got my nitrous, haven't I? Okay, that is horrific. Absolutely horrific. But at least you've got aircon. Um, right, so, exit. Don't know why it's not full screen. I hate it when they do this on the Amiga. It really, really, really annoys me. And I'm playing this on my Super Console X. And to be fair, it doesn't do on anything. But apparently just this. 
A500 Mini does it all the fucking time. Right. But to be fair, I use Super Console X over the A500 Mini for emulating the Amiga because it's just better. Why does that animal have two heads? Look, it's got a head on top of its other head and then it's got antlers. That's a sentence, isn't it? It's got a head on top of its other head. Right, I couldn't work out how to get off this screen. Anyway, track one, Scotland, weather report, uh, wind speed, 30 miles an hour, temperature, 7 degrees Celsius, don't care about the Fahrenheit, sunny intervals and rough wind. So you press forward and then it, sh it highlights that little bit on the map and then you press forward and then it tells you stuff for the whole race, which looks surprisingly similar. And it's just really awkward. And then once you get to the end of the course, Two, one, go. it lets you start. Right, you can see through the car, but it looks more like you just don't have a windscreen. You have a dash at the bottom, probably to keep the frame rate up. Nice colours, nice speed, bit too quick. Uh, everything on the horizon just muddies out and you can't really work out what's out there. Damage top left, time, top left, yeah. Track's really, really small. The problem is, like I said, I don't... Oh, there's my nitro. Yeah, the problem is, just steering and accelerating at the same time is just compromised. Which way do I go? Well, I know it said go left, but it's not like the road actually forked out, is it? <laughs> Face pan noise. That was quite nice. I've got another nitro, have I? I can't get on the road. To be fair, it's still fucking more playable than Chase HQ on the Atari ST was. And I think this was on the ST? Don't know. It's not terrible graphics, but the thing is, it's a little... Oh look, it's counting it down. Uh, it's a little too quick, if you know what I mean. Oh no, it's counting down, but I've still got nitro. Of my damage 58%. You can't react to the road quickly enough, and also that's hampered by the fact that you. Alright, so I know why you had to at least give me one button, but I could have had the yellow one for accelerate. I just pressed backwards to brake. That would have been more doable. Don't go in the drink. See, the problem with this game is like all these games at this point, which is yeah, it looks nice and it's a step above stuff. Well, everything's a step above fucking outrun, isn't it? But the thing is, Lotus exists at this point, so. No, just no. Unless you're going to say, look at this game Lotus, let's completely dissect it and work out why people fucking love it and then find a way to absolutely tear it apart with our own version of it and a better game engine and stuff like that, T-Junction, uh, then don't, because you're just automatically releasing, what do I do there? An inferior product. And then I have to do this, I'm not liking this. Why do you make Three, me... Two, one, go. go over the full track when all the conditions are exactly the same. I'm only here to see that two-headed beast. You can't, yeah. Still, at least you look like a 205. Your back windscreen's a bit big, I guess, but... It's not got an amazing frame rate though, has it either? I know, I'm picking it apart. But I can, because I love the lowest games on the Amiga. And I've played all of them. So. So I don't understand when it says go left. Was I supposed to go left there? Like, can I stop on a dime? I've got no idea what's going on. I think I have to stop on a dime and then how you would do that and then literally turn it at a right angle kind of like Cisco heat styly for some reason when you use a nitro you seem to stay on the road when you just accelerate flat out normally you don't was that a taxi ah you had it coming fuckers think they own the road Yeah, music would have been nice. You could have put Utah Saints in, couldn't you? You spent all that fucking money on them. Or maybe they did it for free. Because they pitied you. So, 
I don't have to worry about the old bill then, do I? I mean, I know they were in the title. But they didn't show up or stay for the party. Right. I'm not going to Nitros. Because I feel that that T-junction is suspiciously nearly upon us. Uh-oh. Maybe I'll have to. Right. But there's the old bill on me. What? I got no idea what you gotta do. None. I'm shit out of points. That is a fucking irritating Three, game. Two, That's Night Trust it right off the start. Go. I mean, if I am. Oh no, you can't turn it right angles. And it's not like you explained anything to me on the map screen. You just made me go the whole map. But, you know, this is a fucking 16-bit computer. You're not going to be able to do those sort of turns, are you? Lois didn't do them. Because he didn't need to, because it was better. Yeah, we shouldn't. Stick that in your fucking pipe. Right. There's a left here, is there? No, because I can't get off the road. I'm assuming then, if we make it to the T-junction, which at this point, don't care, we just go right. I mean, by all means, people, let me know what I'm going wrong. But the thing is, I'm finding this game so unengaging and damn right horrible to play. I'm not going to return, but I would be curious just to see if, what they've done here to try and think. Like, look, look, no other game does this, but we've done this. Therefore, you should buy this because this makes us a better racer than everything else, including Lotus. Oh, did I use both already? I guess I did. What was my speed? I looked down, that's why I'm... That's the only good thing about this game, that comical noise. Frying pan hitting face. My hand is killing me already. Yeah, stick to Lotus. All, f all of them. Better in this. I mean, fucking big run's better than this on the Amiga. Cisco Heat's more fun. <laughs> And that's got 90 degree corners that you can actually fucking turn. Right, so. <clears throat> or did I have to buy a handbrake in the shop? Is that where I've gone wrong? So, no. Do I care? No. Yeah, it's not the greatest. Right. I, but I'm it's telling me to go left. Right. would you do that you have to slow down to such a crawl and when it like flips the road it just looks horrible I guess the map screen kind of makes sense but is this your gimmick is this your standout gimmick because it's shit in my car I'm 93 percent you can't on the road this is awful this game it's too late for you in 1993, gimmicks and all. Fuck off. One more go. Uh, can I go a different route? Wait. Am I... Is this determining... How many bends I have? I'm actually selecting my own route, which Three, makes no two, sense. One, go. Would I like to rear view mirror? Just cause. Also, since you can't stay on the road, you just take so much damage. Good luck finishing this. I am in a French car though, and as much as I like 205s, you know, French bodywork back then, you could put a pen for it. I can't stay mad at you, Pozo 205 TTI. Preferably 1.9. Oink. 
Yeah, music would have been nice. I don't like that junction thing. That's just a bit too much. I'm on 12% damage already. And also, how are you supposed to do it if you, uh, you've engaged in Nitro? I'm breaking as hard as I can, game. Surely not. Ooh. I know the weird noises that seem to assist my driving greatly. Fuck nuggets. I thought that was an arrow. It was a red bit of sky. Right. Yoink. I hurt my hand. Right, so we're going straight on. Thanks for that game. I guess use our, I'll use my nitro. Nitro on a four-cylinder engine. You would absolutely rag it. That's my, I don't want to look up. What's my damage? 25%. I'm breaking as hard as I can. Yeah, just stick to lettuce. I know I keep saying that, but you all have fun there. Ooh, I think I was about to go in the drink, but then since I hit the mud, it fucking Jesus to me. See what I did there? Because, you know, water and stuff. Right. Every time that bit of red sky goes by in the parallax, I keep thinking it's an arrow. To be fair, I'm concentrating a lot harder than you. <laughs> Yeah, so we've got a different route. That's weird. Once you're on it, then you can f flat out accelerate. It's still weird. Don't like that. And obviously because of the route I've selected, I've got a load more of them coming up. Look at that. Complete lack of frame right there. <laughs> Yoink. Still, positives. It looks exactly like Scotland. I literally can't tell the difference between this and real life. Only there are less deep fried Mars bars in this, to be fair. Right. And let me... Oh. That's weird. It's weird. You can take it reasonably at speed then, but you are going to hit shit then. Oh, it's crack it's the roses. Oh, it's that bit of Scotland. It's a desert, remember? Where it's perfectly between mud and green. Oof, so did my poor tyres. Does that mean they're running out? No! Health and safety in Scotland's appalling. Shizen, Shizen. Oh, I guess I should say Ochla Noon. <laughs> Sorry, Scotland. I don't like this. I've overshot it. So what does that mean? See, so you can't take it flat out. So you do have to slow to a complete crawl, which just completely ruins your, any immersion you have in the game. Ugh. I mean, all right, you try something different, but you're still shit compared to the opposition. So how about not trying gimmicks and just making a fucking banging racer that can compete with Lois? That would be where you went. That's a bill in a surprisingly American car. Oh no, you don't sink completely. I am Jesus Christ, automobile. My damage. It's gonna be another corner. Surely I'm not doing it the right sequence now, so <clears throat> I can't. I can't qualify. Win? I don't even care. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you. Foot. But I only get three lives. Burning rubber on the Amiga. Um, ultimately, it doesn't work. And the main reason it doesn't work is, what's the point of making a racing game at all when Lotus 1, 2, and 3 exist? Because you're just not going to compete. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I love doing all the things, especially you bought this back in the day. I'll see you later.